watching Tag TV. Um, we're going to get the uh, program started. And first on the first on the agenda is uh, is Dr. Jay Gonsal as the convener of the program. Dr. Jay G is going to um, declare the conference open. So, Dr. Jay. G. Distinguished panelists and speakers, artists and respected delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Namaste, Sachi Akal, and a very good evening to you. I'm deeply honored to welcome you to the first ever Threads Conference, a conference with one simple aim, to tell the story of the Hindu American. <clears throat> so what is Threads about? 500 years. Almost 500 years after Columbus thought he had reached the shores of India, Indians discovered America. They came from different corners of the world, initially uh, as a trickle, then as a steady stream, which then turned to a deluge in the early 90s as America was going through a transition from the old economy to the information-based modern economy. Over the span of 50 years or so, the Hindu Americans have integrated themselves into the fabric of America, enriching it with their own special colors and yet, and yet retaining their very special, their own person, their own identity, their own special identity as Hindus. As physicians, scientists, business leaders, entrepreneurs, educators, artists, and experts in many, many other fields, the Hindu Americans are making strong contribution to the life in America. However, as they got on with the business of establishing themselves and making these wonderful contributions, they never found the time as a community to look back and see the road that they had taken until this moment. Thanks to a number of visionaries in the Hindu American community, uh, the seed of uh, threads started germinating some seven years ago. However, we did not find a critical mass at that time. Uh, so the concept was percolating for a number of years until last year about this time, uh, we started to give it a concrete shape and Threads 2019 was born. Over this intervening 12 months or so, there have been literally, uh, I can't say hundreds of uh, conference calls and probably scores and scores of volunteers and uh, uh, organizers all over the country come together and uh, work day and night to put this event uh, together. <coughs> <clears throat> One such visionary is a very dear uh, friend of mine, and, my, I, and I, in fact, I consider him a mentor, and that is, of course, Dr. Abhyas Thana, who <coughs> is the president of the World Hindu Council of America. Uh, if there is one person who uh, can be credited with bringing this conference together, then I would say it's him. Um, and it really saddens me to say that he is unable to be here tonight uh, because he had he a serious health situation uh, three weeks ago. He is doing well uh, and uh, unfortunately he simply cannot be here with us uh, tonight. But knowing him, he is fully engaged. He's, as uh, this nice stream is going out, I'm sure he's sitting in the comfort of his living room and watching us. So I would just ask you to please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> so what are we trying to accomplish with this conference? The answer lies in the three simple words embedded in the tagline of this conference. Share, appreciate, and engage. 
to share the story of the Hindu American, to talk about their journey, their trials, their tribulations, but most importantly, their contributions to the land that they have adopted, the United States of America. In addition to that, to appreciate the fact that this land opened its doors and its hearts and gave us the opportunity to be here, to be something, and to, uh, to, to, to be able to make these contributions that we're going to talk about. And most importantly, we want to engage in a conversation with the society at large on how together uh, we can make, country, make the country even stronger and march towards a better future for all. How are we going to do it? Uh, we are fortunate to have been able to bring together what I would consider a galaxy of eminent panelists and speakers under one roof and one platform. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the CD of uh, these speakers and panelists, it is simply amazing. Uh, each one of them comes with tremendous amount of accomplishments. Over the next day and a half, they will participate in panel discussions on topics ranging from arts and literature, business and enterprise, technology and entrepreneurship, medicine, and so on and so forth, you see in the agenda. In these panels, they will attempt to tease out a picture of what the Hindu Americans have been uh, doing for the last 50 years or so, and where they're going forward how they're going to uh, make, what their role is going to be going forward in making this country stronger and even better. I have no doubt that these will be stimulating, inspiring and enlightening conversations and I for one am uh, looking forward to them. I would like to acknowledge that we have a very packed agenda and is it ever packed. For instance, we have Three panels before lunch tomorrow, three after lunch, and then two more after dinner. So it really is uh, going to be a busy day. And then, then of course, two on Sunday, followed by a closing session, as you as you know. And incidentally, we've been able to find time to have three wonderful musical performances: one tonight following the inauguration, and then. Uh, one every morning uh, over the next two days. So, all in all, uh, well, I, I should also point out, how could I forget, we have some 40 posters on different subjects uh, displayed in the, in the galleries outside, and a wonderful uh, exhibition of Madhubani art uh, is also there for your enjoyment. All in all, there's plenty of food for the brain, for the heart, for the soul, and of course for the stomachs. So let me close by saying that the entire Threads team is delighted that you're all here. On behalf of the entire team, I invite you to partake in everything this conference has to offer, share, appreciate, and engage towards a better future together. Thank you. to Dr. Jairam Salji. Uh, for those of you that uh, may not know him, uh, just a brief note uh, on Dr. Jairam Salji. He uh, is a long-term member of the World Hindu Council of America and is currently serving as a member of its governing council. Uh, but uh, by profession, he's a scientist and uh, he retired from, uh, uh, he retired in uh, 2014. It's a uh, uh, as a Chief Scient uh, Scientific Officer and Global Technology Advisor for ExxonMobil. So that's what I did as well. Thank you very much. Uh, we have among uh, us this evening um, to distinguish uh, you noteworthy know, members from our uh, House of Representatives. One, uh, one is uh, Mr. Aki Chen, a state, rep a state representative from the 2nd North of District, welcome. And we have a former state representative, uh, Mr. Robert Lancia from Rhode Island. Welcome. Uh, on to the, uh, on to the next part of 
benefit of the evening, I'm going to be reading uh, the letter that was sent to the organizers of the event uh, from the city of Auburn, Massachusetts, uh, Mayor Scott Gavin. So, this letter is addressed uh, to the uh, Wellington Council, uh, dated October 29, 2019. Dr. Abaya Astana, President of the Wellington Council of America, organizes and attendees of the Threads 2019 conference. It's my pleasure to offer a warm welcome to this community driven conference aimed at sharing the story of Hindu Americans who are deeply woven into the fabric of the United States. Here in Woburn, our Indian American neighbors have strengthened our community in many ways, including our economy, knowledge, culture, and community engagement. We are pleased to be the host city to this first of its kind conference, raising awareness of the rich contributions of Hindu Americans. The heartbeat of our city is easily found in the strength of all our citizens. We take tremendous pride in who we are today in terms of evolving diversity, growth, quality of life, caring neighbors, civic commitment, and an open door. Again, a warm welcome to everyone attending Threads 2019 here in the city of Auburn. You are now part of our cherished tradition of annual cultural, community, and family festivals and celebrations. Sincerely, Scott D. Gabbard, the mayor of Auburn. I'd like to now invite Vikash Verma to come and read the letter from, uh, from Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Baker. The Threads Conference, on behalf of the Global Hindu Council, had invited Honorable Governor Charles Baker to be uh, among us. However, unfortunately, even though he showed enormous gratitude for this recognition due to pre existing conflict, he expressed his inability to join us. However, he has been kind enough to send his greetings and I'm honored to read it to you. Dear friends, on behalf of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Luton Governor Karen Polito and I would like to welcome you to the 2019 Threats Cultural and Educational Conference hosted by the World Hindu Council of America. This year's conference focuses on the inclusion and collaboration of Hindu Americans in the Commonwealth and the United States and will showcase the strength of unity in diversity. For many years, Hindu Americans have contributed greatly to society through diverse fields such as science, technology, medicine, education, arts, and much more. The conference is an excellent opportunity for Hindu Americans from various backgrounds to share their stories and journeys and to discuss ways to further increase recognition of their contributions. Lutheran Governor Polito and I would like to thank the World Hindu Council of America for hosting this conference and for their commitment to enhancing the inclusion and collaboration of Hindu Americans throughout communities in the Commonwealth. Please accept our best wishes for an enjoyable and successful conference. Sincerely, Charles D. Baker, Governor, Karen Polito, Lutheran Governor. Thank you.